she laughed, he laughed, they have tattoos, they didn't need a safe space. <laughs> didn't need a trigger warning, why? Because they can take a joke. I am tired of an America that's lost the ability to laugh, and I am unapologetical when it comes to speaking for truth. I've had enough. I stand for liberty. Freedom again. Let me explain something for you younger folks. Okay, when you're joking about people's differences, you're not making fun of them or putting them down. You're finding humor and difference. That's maturity. That's what we're losing. See, see, the founders knew that. The founding fathers knew that we were going to be made up of all types of people, unique people. And each state was going to have its own flavor. And here's the thing about the states, if you don't know this already. Every state is essentially its own country, its own governor, its own uh, infrastructure, its own ability to make wealth, share wealth. And we chose to be a united stakes and the good news is we're gonna have a really small federal government <laughs> it matters if you aren't diligent to what people's standards and ideologies are and we lost that idea because you're Indiana you're unique I was driving up and down your uh, your freeway or what do you call it? interstate that's so Indiana. We call them interstates because they're interstates, so we figured that makes the most sense. <laughs> now you go over in Ohio, that's an outer state. I don't know what they call it over there, but this is ours. <laughs> See, that's what I love. You're so practical. You're so practical, and you still believe in going to church. And not only that, the men go to church. I love that, man. And not only the men go to church in Indiana, when you go, you're packing. How do you not love that? <laughs> that's America got to make your altar calls a lot more effective, isn't it? <laughs> would you like to accept Jesus as your Savior? I'm not sure. <laughs> yes, I would. I would. Mm. I should have done it last week. I don't know what I was thinking. My bad. But Indiana's interstates are unique. I was driving up and down. You know what I discovered, you guys? I discovered the biggest waste of taxpayer money in Indiana. I know I run the risk of being redundant. But, <laughs> I see where my sophisticated group is over here. All the people that are politically aware, all these other people go, I don't know what he's talking about. I'll stay over in this vicinity. Just gonna hang out with Santa Claus over here inside. <laughs> 